Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm the writing specialist here at Chesapeake College's Academic Support Center. This is going to be a short video for the receptionists here at the Academic Support Center about TutorTrack. TutorTrack is the software that we use that helps us keep track of all the students that come to us for tutoring and gives us great details about how long they were here, what subjects they came for, and which tutor they worked with specifically. There'll be a second video after this that will show you a couple more details about TutorTrack, so make sure that you watch that one too. So, first we have to get to the TutorTrack website. Hopefully, you'll be able to bookmark this once you find it the first time. So, here at the top, the address to search for is http colon slash slash chesapeake dot go dash redrock dot com. And this will take you to our login screen. So, as a receptionist, all receptionists use the same login, which is the username receptionymails. Now, if you're a receptionist working in our Cambridge site, the username for that is receptioncambridge. The password you should get from one of our senior staff members. and you'll just click the login button or press enter. This takes you to the home screen for the receptionist's tutor track uh, profile. Now that you've logged in you can see your home screen. Here at the main menu if we ever put any messages you might see those here. Up at the top is a box to quick log in a student. You could search a student by name in this box. Over here on the left side are the three probably most important boxes that you'll be using in TutorTrack. The first one lets you look for uh, the day's schedule and making appointments for the future. This second box here, as a receptionist, you won't need to use this box. And this third box here, would show you in this list all of the students that are currently in the center and I'll show you this a little bit later. You could also use this section here to log a student into the center which is similar to this field here. At the top left corner here you can see this little icon which we call the track man. If you hover over this and click on it it will give you some options which you can explore. And this magnifying glass will also give you three options, students, visits, and appointments. So feel free to take a few minutes and kind of familiarize yourself with this home screen. Now the two main things that we're going to do in this video are look at the day's schedule as a receptionist and log a student in and out by monitoring the log list. So to look at the day schedule, there's a couple ways to get there. The easiest way is just to click on this little button that says schedule. Once you click on that, you'll be seeing the schedule for a certain day. So make sure here on the calendar that you pick the day that you were looking for. Let's see, I wanted, let's say I wanted to look at the schedule for this previous Monday, the 23rd. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see our three Chesapeake College's main three schedules. Our Y Mills campus schedule, our Cambridge campus schedule, and then all of our embedded tutors. So for this example, I'll look at the Y Mills schedule. You can click on that blue link and it'll reroute you to the right schedule. So if I scan across the board here, you can see on the left hand side I have all the times for the day and on the top I have all of the different tutors. So all of these boxes with different colors show tutor available times. That way you can see when a tutor begins and ends their shift for the day. If the box is blue like this it means that the tutor doesn't take appointments and is available only for drop-in which is usually math and science. If the tutor's box is green like this, that means that the tutor is a writing tutor and they can make appointments. All of these yellow boxes are appointments that have been made for the tutor. And we'll get to that in a little bit.
So that's the schedule. If you ever wanted to look at something in detail and this section becomes a little bit too crowded for you, just know that there's this little gray box and if you click on it and drag it down, it increases the size of each entry, which makes things a little easier to read. Now, the other thing we're going to do in this video is log a student in and out and look at the log list to show that they're there. So, if we go back to our home page, TrackMan main menu, we're going to practice logging a student in. This is where you'd log a student in. A key point in, to know in TutorTrack is the less information that you give TutorTrack about the student's name, the more likely it is that you'll find the student. This might not make much sense, but really what you're doing is you're casting a wider net. So say the student's last name is Rodriguez, but you can't tell if the student signed in with a Z or an S. So even if you just put R-O-D-R, like a fragment of the last name. It would find all the students that fit that category and it would show you all the students to pick from. So you could give a first name, a last name, or a fragment of a first name, or a fragment of a last name, and it should help you find them. If you gave a student's entire name, even if you had one small thing wrong, it'll say that the student doesn't exist and you'll have trouble finding them in the system. So I'm going to enter a student that I work with you can find this from the physical login sheet that they use. You would click the student that you mean, and you would click the center. For our purposes here, we're going to be clicking Tutoring at Y Mills. If you're a receptionist in Cambridge, you'd be clicking tutor Tutoring at Cambridge Center, but you won't need to click these two first options. Now you're going to need to give the system a little bit more information about why the student is here. So, over here this first left column shows all of the available tutors and you would click which tutor the student is going to work with. I'm going to click myself. This is all of Cynthia's classes, so you're going to click the class that she's here for. And perhaps she came to show us a draft, so she's getting some help with writing. All of this, a tutor could change after the fact. So never worry if you feel like you might be getting something wrong about which class they're here for or what reason they're here for because a tutor when they go back to adjust the data can fix it to be exactly what actually happened in the session. So just do your best. You'll click continue and this will log the student into the center. You can see that she's logged in because here she appears on our log list. This is called the mini log list because it's a very small box. A lot of the receptionists prefer to use the actual log list, which you can find under TrackMan. This is one screen that will show you all the students that are in the center at this time, and you can monitor the students' uh, ins and outs much more easily from this screen if, say, there's 10 students here at a time. All 10 students would be listed here, and you could see who all was working uh, with which tutor and with which student. So the last thing that this video is going to show you is say that uh, Cynthia and I are done with our session and she's going to head out for the day. When you see her leaving, she won't sign on the physical sign-in sheet, but you'll need to log her out of tutor track and this keeps track of how long that she spent with me in our session. So in order to log Cynthia out of the session, this tiny blue box with an arrow is the log out button. So you'll click on that. It's going to ask you to uh, type in any remarks. You'll always leave this blank. You'll just press continue. Now she'll disappear from the log list. And if we go back to our main menu screen, we'll see that she will have also disappeared from the mini log list. And she's gone. So that's the end of the first video. Make sure that you watch our second video for receptionists here, which will show you how to deal with a writing appointment, including making a new writing appointment and acknowledging when a student is here for a writing appointment, as well as our ASC turnaway form. Thanks.